Thomas Buick was an engraver who was born here in the Tyne Valley in 1753 and died also in the Tyne Valley 75 years later in 1828. With the exception of one hugely memorable and liberating tour where he walked for hundreds and hundreds of miles around Scotland, nine disappointing months working in London, his annual family halls in Tynemouth and the odd trip elsewhere, his whole life was spent between here at Cherryburn near Pudder in the Tyne Valley and Newcastle 15 miles away where he spent his working life. This is what he worked on. Using small blocks of boxwood like this, he took the art of wood engraving to new heights of minute observation and powerful expression. In his lifetime he did a tremendous volume of work and he was admired for all of it. But his greatest claim to fame lies in the illustrations that he did for his two books about natural history his history of quadrupeds and his history of British birds. These two books played a great part in stimulating a widespread and rapidly growing interest in natural history. So Thomas Buick was a local man, he was a great man, he was a great artist whose life's work helped to change the world forever. He was also oh! hey, hey. Thomas Buick, your father will hear of this. Oh. That boy! This is where he used to live, Cherryburn. There used to be a burn or a stream behind the house and I'm not sure there are any cherries planted here now but nor were there in his day. Then, as he says in his autobiography, there were plum trees and holly, hawthorn, a couple of ash trees and one tall oak. And then as now, the place was surrounded by the sound of birdsong. There was a rookery, the sable inhabitants of which, as he says in his memoir, were among the first of the feathered race to proclaim the coming spring. The house he lived in was a typical 18th century Northumbrian farmstead with its steeply pitched roof which was thatched, probably with heather. That window on the gable end was his bedroom and the farm buildings were attached in a row to the side of the house. It's changed a bit since those days. Part of the house, the bit with his bedroom in it, has disappeared. It was pulled down in the 1840s. But the general feeling is still the same. A small linear farmstead beautifully nestled into the landscape, typically Northumbrian, as I say. It's lost its thatch, of course, but it's still got this beautifully steeply pitched roof and it's built of lovely buff-coloured Northumbrian sandstone and the sash windows with their typical little small panes here. When they slide sideways like this, they're called Yorkshire sashes. And then the doorway with this lovely alternating blocks around. Really beautiful. Thomas, like any farm boy, had to work on the farm and he clearly loved doing it. He had a flock of sheep which was his responsibility. He had to muck out the buyer. That's what he called his first and common employment. And he loved to milk the cows, especially during snowstorms, because it was snug inside the buyer doorway and he could watch birds flying in the little dean outside. The landscape that Buick grew up in and which he later turned into his woodcuts was and still is extremely beautiful. And the young Thomas clearly responded to it with the passion of Wordsworth, a man incidentally who was later to become a great admirer of Buick. <laughs> 